Hello and welcome to Timberdoodle's 2023 Kindergarten Curriculum Program. We're going to walk you through an elite kit. This is Pearl, I'm Grace, and we're going to talk to you about all the items that are included in the full complete pack or the full elite package. Also available online is the basic and the complete. So if you need a pared down version of this or if you need to customize if your student is not ready for the reading yet but they are advanced in math or you, however you need to customize it, you can go online and do that. We also highly recommend you take our early learner placement test because that is going to give you some of those indicators to say, oh, we recommend doing pre-K in this level and kindergarten for that subject and just kind of tweaking it to fit your student best. Um, and then we also include our handbook, which is going to give you access to our online scheduler so you can print off your weekly checklist, work that through with your student, customize that if you want to add on something like um, physical exercise or chores or whatever you want to add on. You can go do that online. That'll give you all the access there as well as our reading challenge, which we we'll talk about more in some of our other videos. So um, let's go ahead and get started on the language arts portion. And to start that off, I'm going to talk to you about the All About Reading Level 1. Now, again, highly, highly recommend you do a placement test because kids and reading, it's always different, every student. And so we, we really recommend that you take a placement test to make sure you're getting into the right level. Um, but what we love about the All About Reading is this is a multi-sensory approach. So you've got the hands-on tiles that are not pictured here. Um, and then you've also got all the workbooks, the readers, full color, very engaging. You've got the flashcards. The kids are just, it's going to work with them at all, no matter what type of learner they are, this is going to make this accessible for them and it's open and go. So if you are a busy mom, busy dad, and you don't want to do a whole lot of prep work first, hop on in here and this is going to tell you what you're going to do. So teacher's guide, very clear instructions for everything. And then I, I need to show you the student book just because it's so beautifully done. So a lot of color, a lot of activities, um, just really makes you want to jump in there and do that. And of course the hands-on component really Yes, and it's it's highly phonics based, very systematic, so there won't be any gaps. And it works through, again, not just the typical, oh, this is the letter, it makes a sound, but even stuff like rhyming or just the whole scope of early phonics, it works on it. Excellent. Okay, then let's look at some of the other items that are in the language arts. Do you want to tell us about the italic book? Yes, so we've chosen this one because it's a very uh, approachable one for a child who's just learning handwriting. They've even designed the book so that you're not trying to work around the crease, so again, it works very well for students. This is important not just so that your child can write legibly, but also because that letter formation is an important way for them to help remember letters, letter sounds, letter shapes. So again, very a key component for your child's language arts. We also have new this year, the song, Sing a Song of Seasons. This is a poetry book and it is so beautifully done. It's a conglomeration of a number of different poets. Um, the illustrations are just gorgeous and you're just going to read one every day and talk about it with your student. And some of them are just these little short blurbs. Here's this, the February winter scene. April, you've got five little owls. Just so much to look at and to talk about and enjoy with your students. And then of course spelling you see. So this one is again open and go. It's going to be about 10 minutes a day and your students are just going to work through this. Of all, We've looked at a number of spelling programs and we're really picky about spelling programs and this is the favorite one that we've found because it's so easy to utilize and it's not going to bore your student to tears. So excellent program there. All right, let's take a look at math. So for kindergarten math, you're going to be working through the Matthew C. Primer. We do have a placement test, so you can make sure that this is the correct level for your student. What we love about Matthew C. is it, it, it's using these manipulatives. So it's a hands-on, it's a multi-sensory approach, and it's mastery-based. So you're going to work through one concept until that's really cemented in your child's brain, and then you're going to gradually move on to another concept, cycling back a little bit here and there just to review it so you don't forget anything, but really working on that concept, 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 which is really great for the younger ages as they're really just beginning to learn math and the different concepts that there are, this is going to be a very approachable way for them to do that. Um, very simple pages. It's going to have your teacher book. It's got your online access, your um, 
teacher's portion so you can watch the video. A lot of folks like to watch the video with their students to be like, here's the concept that we're working on. And then they go and do their worksheets. Um, we've got some more details in our handbook to show you uh, which worksheets you can skip if you've got a student who's advanced and you don't need to be doing as much. Or if you've got a student who's struggling, then you're going to want to work through each of those. Um, but a, a very approachable program for any learning style because it does have this hands-on component and the multi-sensory approach. Yes, and then to supplement that, we have the Jump One game. This is a really fun math game where basically somebody will play a card. You can only play a card that's one lower or one higher. So a lot of simple greater than, less than concepts. You also have the wild cards. So there's a little bit of strategy involved to make it fun, even for the parents as you're playing with your kids. It's not uh, just straight math. It's also math and strategy. Okay, let's take a look at thinking skills. So we've got the Olset test prep book, but it's not, we don't include it for the purpose of testing for OLSAT. We include this as a thinking skills program. So this is gonna kind of give you a glimpse into how your student thinks. It's gonna give you a number of different questions that you're gonna work through with your student. And that's gonna kind of give you some clues to say, oh, we need to work on this some more, or wow, they've really got a strength in this area. It's just, it's an excellent thinking skills program to just work through with your student. Um, and then we also have the Kuhn thinking skills. And this is gonna target the spatial reasoning, the logic, same and different and creativity. So it's a compilation book. You've got those four programs all tied up into one book and you're just going to work through each of those different sections with your student um, systematically. Smart Farmer. So this is a great single player logic game working on spatial reasoning. So you're trying to you, you set up the animals according to the challenge and they are such adorable little animals. And then you are placing the fences along um, in a way that keeps the animals in their proper pens. So again, great spatial reasoning, great logic, wonderful for a child to work on on their own. Then for the multiplayer game, we have Gobbly Gobblers. This one is so fun because it's similar to tic-tac-toe, but with the gobbling aspect of the larger pieces can swallow the smaller ones. So there's strategy, thinking skills, competition. It, again, we like to include games that um, as the parent is playing with the child, they don't have to just kind of let the child win, um, it really can be sort of a level playing field between parent and child, and Gobbler Gobblers is a great one for that. Also not pictured because it's so new is the dress code. Dress code. Um, so dress code is going to give you 80 different challenges to work through with your student. It's going to work on visual perception and planning. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to get a challenge card that they have to replicate how the colors uh, show up for the the... It's going to give you basically like a, a, ki a child and then it's going to show you them wearing, say, a yellow striped shirt and blue shorts. And you have to use the tiles to make it show up the same way as the card. We'll have that all on our website so you can actually see what that is. But it's a fantastic new game and hopefully coming really soon. Um, let's look at the history and social studies. So we've got a couple different things. So depending on whether you're getting the faith-based kit or the non-religious kit, you'll have a different backbone program. Let me walk you through faith-based first and then I'll walk you through the one that's going to be charter school friendly or non-religious friendly. So my story K is a Bible-based program that's going to work through a number of different social studies, history, um, a lot of pictures, activities. In the back you've got um, memory verses, you've got activity sheets for each lesson, um, and some maps. So if you're talking about Asia, then the child's going to pull out their map and they're going to color in Asia. You've got some foreign language incorporated in there, which the kids find really fun to try to say thank you throughout the day in the new language that they just learned. So a, an excellent program. You can pare it down and just make it as simple as you need, or you can pull out all the stops and use all the extra things that they include in here and make this a, a really intensive program if you want it to be. And then for the non-religious program, we have the 180 days of social studies. This is an open and go, excellent program. You're just gonna work through, look at the pictures, read the words, circle the correct answers, and you're going to read the different portions to your student and just walk through. It's very easy to incorporate a number of different things that they're going to be learning in there. Do you want to tell us about here and there? Yes, so here and there is just uh, another way to look at geography, culture, um, again trying to see what a child's life will be like in another place through a lot of different cultural aspects. So get a good way for your child to learn how, how people around the world are the same, how they are different from how we live here. 
Okay, let's look at geography. So for geography, this is going to be the main, the curriculum portion, and this is going to introduce your student to some key map skills, map vocabulary. It's very colorful, easy to get out and, and, and do, but also you can see like you really are learning some wonderful concepts, um, and this is an often overlooked area of curriculum, so this is going to be a, a very important, but also a fun way to get into it. Yes, and so then alongside it, we have around the world mazes, um, increasingly challenging mazes as your student learns about, again, different geography, different places around the world, along with the 100 piece kids world map puzzle. So like the uh, puzzles in our younger grades, this one also has animals throughout. So again, your child is learning not just, oh, this is the national geography, but oh, here, here's what actually lives in these areas. Um, but at 100 pieces, a lot more challenging, perfect for your kindergartner. And then let's look at science. So for science, we've got the backbone. It's kind of both of these are the backbone, but this is gonna be your curriculum portion. This is gonna, again, work on vocabulary, work on projects. There's reading portions that you're gonna do with your student, and then there's gonna be a couple activity pages. Look at the picture, read the word. Is this liquid or gas? Is this liquid or gas? And, and they're gonna go through all of those, draw a line to match. And then it's got an actual activity that you can do with your students. So fill a cup of water halfway, mark the line, put it on a sunny windowsill, look at it the next day. So some real easy to do, but hands-on activities to kind of cement these concepts into your kids' brains. Alongside the skill sharpeners for science, you're gonna be doing the stepping into science. So this is gonna give you 29 activities that you're going to be looking at key, five key areas, nature, physics, chemistry, air, and water. And right in the kindergarten age is, kids are primed for science. Like they just, it's, it's wonderful to them. And so this is gonna give you a really easy way to get out your box, do the science experiment, and they're just gonna to wanna to do more. Yes, and then one more item to supplement that is the look inside your body. So again, a really practical um, area of science for your child to be studying, and they will love lifting the flaps, learning about it, slightly more detailed than the book that's in pre-K, again, perfect for your kindergartner to learn all about their body. Okay, let's take a look at emotional intelligence. So we've got two things. My favorite is what's going on here cards because these are gonna show you so many different situations and then you're gonna talk about it with your students and it's got the prompts on the back so you can say, you know, what's going on here, who just played a game, what's the gray kitten feeling and does the parent notice how the gray kitten is feeling? So many different things you can talk through a, a real life type situation with your kids and then you can do the emotional coaching via a card and so then when it comes up in real life then you've already got this backbone that you've already laid down. Right. Um, and then also to reinforce that we have the happy, sad, feeling glad doodle book which is going to give you a situation. Dog is hungry, it's making him cranky, draw food in the pot and put some on dog's plate. So again, a yeah. situation putting their pencil to the page and kind of helping them work through that in their brain. Yes, and I love that it's more than just labeling, uh, which is important, but now it's taking it to the next step of what do we do about this situation or this yeah. emotion? I love that. Yeah. For STEM, we have the Think Play Gears Extreme, and this really is an extreme set because it involves the, the typical building blocks, it involves pulleys, it involves gears. So wonderful STEM education um, for your child. And again, some simpler models, working up to more and more complex models. So very comprehensive, very thorough um, STEM learning for your child this year. Okay, let's take a look at art. So we've got a couple of different things here. This is the I Can Doodle Rhymes, which is a Timber Doodle exclusive. It's gonna have your student doing a little bit of the handwriting as well, um, but it's got a lot of fun little illustrations that they're gonna do. So Gert's too clean, draw dirt on her shirt and skirt. And this one, draw more cherries than berries. So you've just got a number of different doodling activities, a lot of variety, very colorful book. Um, and then we've got a couple sets as well. So do you want to tell us about that one? Yes, so Animals in Their Homes, what I love about this kit is that it exposes your child to a wide range of artistic skills. So you can make puppets, you can make um, 3D figures, lots of different things. I have here the mosaic fish. So again, it's, it's wonderful for your kindergartner not to be um, exposed to only one medium, one type of art, but to, to know um, a variety of artistic skills, and this kit will help you do that. Exactly. And then we also have Aquilarium, which is the, a postcard set, which is really great for young artists because it's got this wax um, impression on the paper, so that way the, the 
paint stays exactly where you want it. Um, I'll show you this done one here. So a, a fantastic program that you can do with a lot of age ranges. They get done and they have this beautiful work of art because it didn't just go crazy on them. It stays, it's, it's, there's wax where there shouldn't be paint and then it absorbs the paint on the, on the parts that you do want it to. So beautiful works of art. Then they can take it and go mail it off and send it off to a friend, a grandma. It's just a really nice program. Yes. Uh, scratch art bugs. What I love about this kit is it's not, not like a typical scratch art where you just scratch off everything that you can. Um, it's very detailed. So scratch these stripes here, scratch these stripes here. Wonderful way to, for your child to learn to follow directions, learn the fine motor skills, and have a beautiful work of art when they're done. Also included are these vibrant colored pencils. These, we've tested a lot of pencils and these are really a great set because they have an intense color and they go on smooth, which is two of our biggest criteria. Um, plus they come packaged in this really handy, beautiful box. We also include the Miori this year. It's just practical for, for organizing some of these things. You've got also your little first pencils, which are the chunky, small, so it encourages this type of a grip rather than this. Um, and then we in include the Clixo fidget toy. So most kids at this age are not real good at sitting still. And so we always like to include something that they can fidget with. We've chosen Clixo for this age because it has a couple features that are unique to it. One, you can build interesting things and you can come up with all sorts of creative ideas. It comes with a number of different sets, number of different pieces. So you've got the building aspect and the creative aspect to it. It's also because it's the magnets, it's just a lot of fun to pull it apart and play with and assemble and just do different things with. So if you are reading to your children or they're working on something that is requiring a little bit more of their brain to be engaged but they need their hands to be engaged this is a phenomenal way to do it and it's not going to create a ginormous mess for you so this is why we love it for this age I think that's everything. We have a lot more info on these products online on our website. So if you want to see some videos, some sample pages, go out there. And as always, if you have any questions or need help customizing a kit, just drop us a line and we'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for joining us.